Assalamu alaikum viewers. I hope that you all are fine. Today I am going to discuss chromatography. Chromatography. First, a little bit introduction about chromatography. Chromatography is an important technique. Is important technique. used in biology and chemistry and chemistry chromatography is an important technique that mostly used by the scientists for detection separation and purification of different uh, compounds. It also used for purification, purification, detection, separation. detection and separation of many compounds. Chromatography can be used for detection, purification and separation of many compounds. So it is very important for the chemist and biologist. What does mean chromatography? Chromatography is actually combination of two words. First word is chrome. Chrome means color. It means color. And second is two graphy or just graphy. Graphy means write. So, organic compounds, mostly organic compounds or inorganic complexes have some colors, so they can easily be identified by chromatography. And the term chromatography is color detection. So, firstly, in the past, Chromatography was used for the separation of different colors, used for the separation of different colors, for example if we have ink Ink actually is a dark mixture and it contains many colors. Actually it is a mixture of many compounds. So we can separate those compounds with the help of chromatography. How it works? How it works? There are two phases in chromatography. First phase is mobile phase. And second phase is stationary phase. Stationary phase. Mobile phase mostly has solvents. Actually, it is also a solvent. And it flows on stationary phase.
stationary phase and third thing mobile phase carries different components with itself from the mixture it withdraws components or compounds from mixture actually mixture is of sample and how it draws it is based on their affinity their polarity molecular weight and density stationary phase is mostly solid phase it is in the form of solid state and it contains a sample sample is placed placed on stationary phase and mostly it is silicon paper alumina charcoal and so on these two phases help us to separate different organic compounds or any color substances so chromatography has different types on the basis of mobile phase and stationary phase first is paper chromatography paper chromatography second is thin layer chromatography and third is column chromatography let us move toward column chromatography column chromatography is a type of chromatography and it is used for purification and separation of desired compound from solution or mixture the solution or mixture may have two or more than two solute so they can easily be separated with the help of column chromatography and this separation is taken on the basis of polarities on the basis of molecular masses and their densities in this term we have uh, used the term column what is column column is actually a long tube it is actually a long tube and uh, its both uh, sides are open first the upper side has a wider hole it has wider opening and the lower end has narrow opening this opening is used for the insertion we add different components we add different uh, uh, like stationary uh, phases uh, different other supporting material uh, through this opening and this opening is used for the removal of our desired component removal of separated components that were in the mixer long tube and open from both sides one side has wider opening and uh, other has a narrow narrow opening has a controller and this controller is used for the removal of uh, desired components in this chromatography there is a stationary phase and mobile phase we know that each type of chromatography there are two phases first is stationary phase and second is mobile phase in this case silica or alumina can be used as a stationary phase and mobile phase is a any solvent and this solvent uh, may be just one solvent or it may be the mixture of two or more than two 
uh, solvents and it depends upon the sample it depends automatically uh, chromatographic separation uh, column chromatographic separation and if we want to run it manually then we have to follow these steps now moving towards the working of column chromatography it may be automatic or it may be manual if we want to perform any uh, separation automatically then we have to use a machine that is known as the octa purifier and if we uh, want to uh, run any sample uh, manually then we have to follow these steps first step is column packing how we have to prepare the column first of all the column has uh, both sides open so if we uh, add anything over here then it can easily be removed from this side then what we will do narrow end of the column is closed with cotton plug we have to close the narrow end with the cotton plug then add sand on the cotton plug here will be the part of the sand on cotton plug next we have to add stationary phase stationary phase may be added with two methods with two method first method is dry method and second is wet method in case of dry method we directly add stationary phase after the addition of stationary phase we add solvent we add solvent on stationary phase and in wet method we have to prepare a slurry of these two components first stationary phase and second the solvent and keep them for 5 to 10 minutes and add in column next we have to select the mobile phase and the selection of mobile phase is on the basis of polarity and solubility if it has attraction towards stationary phase then uh, there will be no separation because mobile phase will make bond with the stationary phase and the sample cannot be easily separated so if we have a polar stationary phase then we should choose the mobile phase as a non-polar next we have to add our sample and we add the sample with the wall and the sample will be loaded on this side loaded on this plate next the sample will run and it is separated on the basis of polarity for example if our sample has a uh, components different components like it has red component for example here is the part of the sample it is a sample and it is running in this column and here is the separation of one sample that is red then what we do this red part of the mixer will come over here and we will open this narrow end with the help of this controller and this red part of the mixer will dip on this beaker and if we contain if we draw the desired amount of red sample then we will uh, turn off this uh, controller and our required component is separated from the mixture suppose our sample contains some polar molecules and some non-polar molecules and we know that stationary phase is polar stationary phase is polar and our mobile phase is non-polar so the mixture has polar and non-polar both component the polar component will make bonding with the stationary phase and non-polar component will make bonding with the solvent so non-polar component will move toward the narrow end and can easily be separated and it will have faster rate of movement and polar end will make bond with this stationary phase 
and can easily be separated if we have non-polar part in mixture then non-polar part will easily be uh, separated and the polar part will make bond with the stationary pair. So this separation is done on the basis of polarities and solubility. If you have any questions regarding column chromatography, you can ask. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Students, we have discussed about manual procedure of column chromatography and how we have to do it with different steps. Now, I am going to explain it with the help of diagram. First of all, look at the first part of the diagram in which we are placing our sample on the top of the column. It is a column and uh, it is a controller of the column and narrow end of the tube and here we place our sample. This part is for stationary phase. In next uh, column, next diagram, we can see that there is a little bit separation in between the components. In the whole procedure, we have to add mobile phase continuously from the broader end of the column. And suppose this uh, sample contains three type of compound. First is uh, blue, second red and third is uh, uh, green. As you are looking at the third diagram, here we can see that there is a separation between uh, these different components. Among these different components, a green part is uh, at the bottom of the column and the blue part is on the top and red part uh, is in between uh, green and uh, blue. We know that stationary phase is polar. So the polar component may make affinity, may make bonding with stationary phase and the non-polar molecule will have greater rate of movement and it will go toward the narrow end uh, very fastly and can be easily separated. In this case, we can say that green part has lower affinity, has lower polarity with the stationary phase. So it is moving with greater rate and it is moving toward the narrow end and it can easily be separated from the column by uh, using this controller and it can be separated into a container, separate container. In this case, if we discuss about the red part, red compound present in that mixture, that it has a little bit polarity or attraction with the stationary phase. So it has lower rate of movement than green part of the mixture. The blue part has greater affinity, so it has a lowest rate of movement. And it can also be separated by uh, using different other solvents. I hope that you have taken all the concepts of uh, column chromatography. If you have any question regarding chromatography or column chromatography, you can ask. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share my videos with others. It will be really uh, beneficial for the students. They can get help by these videos.